today is a special day here in Yapu. So what, what is that photo look? So after this morning's adventures, we've pulled into a place called Armstrong Beach. Uh, the next stop from here will be Yapoon. We might do a couple of nights there and then head down to Bundaberg for a couple of nights. But in the meantime, they want me to get Ramon in the air and see if I can spot some crocs because down this side they found two recently. And then opposite side they found one down this side. But uh, the guy that said he got it on his drone never recorded it. So they want me to get the Ramon up, have a look around, and if I spot crocs, let them know. And send them the footage is what they want. So they can go to the parks and wildlife and say, hey, look, we really do. Here's the evidence that we've got them. In the meantime, just might have a beer and sit back and enjoy this view. And at the request of the owner. Let's go get a crock spotting. Well, we can confirm at this stage there's no crocs a kilometre on either side of where we are. A bit later on, might be a different story though. That was just a quick stopover at Armstrong Bay. Nice little location, pretty quiet. Not much is happening here. Uh, doesn't look like there's any shops or anything. So yeah, if you need to buy something, you need to go into Serena, is that what it's called? Yeah. So um, we took Ramona up and had a look around. There is obviously no, I'm trying to work out how to get out of here. Right. This way. Um, there's, there's no crocs, so. That was a good thing. Yeah, there was a sign but saying that there could be, but we were fortunate hmm. that there was not. So we caught up with uh, the caretakers last night, sat around the fire, um, had a few beers, so that was pretty good. They did sing some songs, which <laughs> we were a bit <laughs> cautious when we we heard that they might be singing. Um, <laughs> but I tell you what, they were bloody good. They were really good. They were on the money. We didn't get their names, but the guy with the blue shirt, we just which we quickly didn't spoke. Film. No, <laughs> we quickly spoke to so this morning. One. He's actually from Loxton back in the day. So. Yeah, so Renmark Barry Loxton back in SA. So and he used to play the guitar there. Mm. So yeah, there you go. We just stopped at this joint called Clareview. I think it's called. Um, couldn't even tell you where it is, it's, but yeah, it looks like a great spot. There's a um, caravan park just as you enter, and apparently this whole area is a Dugon Sanctuary. Pegs are looking for me. Looks like I'm in trouble again. Welcome to Yapoon. Another caravan park. What a fantastic location. I know, the sand is hot. Yeah, sand is hot, hot, hot. You no barefoot, like, right? Oh yeah, I look ridiculous. You look but, like a Mexican. <laughs> but I've had to put this on because I've got no sunscreen on and I will burn, baby burn. Another fantastic beach you can't swim in. Seems to be the way up here. Crocs or stingers. Emu Point Bay, something like that, we don't really know. And Rockhampton's another 30 odd k's inland, so south good. inland sort of thing. Emu Park. Over there. Oh, and that's Emu Park. Maybe. Again, we're not tour guides, and this is why. For the first time this trip, we have actually had to rug up. It's bloody getting cold here. Yeah, it's even with my hoodie. Yapoon, where's the warm weather? I don't know, it's what, 20... Yeah, still... well, it was 32 today. Yeah, it was, right, but... 26. 26 degrees or 24 degrees now, and we're bloody cold. It's 
no, no pleasing us, is there? Just come across some more exercising equipment. I don't think she's exercising, I think she's just taking a break. <laughs> That's it. Chin ups? No. And that's how you exercise in public. Mm. In this one. Again, that's how you exercise in public. Peg style. One rice at a time. We've been here for hours. Hours. <laughs> yum yum. What is it? Um, yeah, we couldn't work out if it was Korean oh, or... Uh, what was it? What do you think? I thought Korean. We thought it was Korean, but it's a mixture of all Asian and Indian uh, cuisines and it was bang. And Astic. she said it's a fusion of mm. a Asian fusion. So, so Alfie, you've done a great job. Well done. Yeah, yum. It Very was nice. fantastic. Very nice. I think we need to walk back to Adelaide to work <laughs> off <laughs> everything we've just eaten. Probably. Why are we filming washing? Good question. Peg has purchased this manual washing machine. Is that the big salad spinner? The black big salad spinner as she calls it, yes. Now, I said don't buy it because you'll never use it. And how long we had it now? Six months? <laughs> yeah. Six months, right? And we only haven't we haven't put even together yet. So I told her, don't buy it. You, you won't use it. Yes, I will. No, you won't. And um, yeah, to this day, still hasn't been used. So today is a special day here in Yapoon. We are going to make sure we use this preparation in the back here. We don't even know how it works, to be honest. So we'll see how we go. And I was wondering why it wasn't filling up. <laughs> you got to put the plug in first. So we've got one dress on top two. Maybe that's just a fill up. No. I really should have got the instructions. Two hours later. So jury's out. There's a lot of effort. So I think I would probably just give them a good old hand wash in the bucket, drain it, wring them a bit, and give them a good old whirl and see if that works. So what I'm hearing from this is Peg thinks it's a waste of money. <laughs> yeah, she's got to use it 20 times to get the value of that. So we're an hour and a half early for our tour because just we just got here. We didn't expect it. And we've been able to get onto the earlier one, which is the what is that? The eleven o'clock tour. So we only got about half hour now instead of hour and a half. We're doing the cathedral tour because we we're too late in booking the more adventurous one, but that's okay. It gives us something to do next time. So we're going to be spread out. Yeah, so this is just like an easy intro into it all, where the other one is a bit more, you get to go into other caves and get down and you get dirty.
was impressive, but the other tours would have been even better. Oh yeah, but we got to crawl through holes and all that sort of stuff. Now that yeah. would have been exciting. But probably not for me today with the ankle. Yeah, well, you could have stayed home. <laughs> What, do, what does that photo look like? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't take her anyway. <laughs> Not twice. <laughs> Seriously, we should be able to get in for child's prices. <laughs> Just a night after the tour. Oh my god. You do have a stain somewhere though. Where? On your butt. Really? No. Gonna have to say, Peg, you're very immature in there. <laughs> well, the guide said to look for a crocodile. Um, uh, what do we call it? Rock art, I guess. Cave art. And so she showed us this crocodile. Yep, I could see it, so I took photos. And she said people have all sorts of imagination. Well, mine that. went to the gutter because yeah. <laughs> I got, and and we were doing poses with her and laughing and she got caught multiple times. Caught me and then it, yeah, we need to get out. Yes. To go, but Straight. the other tours would would actually be really good. That would be more fun. Now that was great. Don't get me wrong. That's pretty good. Boy, that cost forty-seven bucks. Oh, no, about each. thirty-five each. Thirty-five each. Okay, but the next ones obviously go up in. In dollar value and length of time and yeah and more adventure more adventure now that would have been pretty cool yeah but you maybe do next get time the choice with a couple of things so we still next that's time good. that's good that's good I think we're at Bluff Point so we're going up to Turtle Lookout to the Turtle Lookout so it's a six to seven hundred meter walk up the big hill and what are our chances of seeing turtles today? I don't, yeah. Zero. Do you know why it's hotter up here? We're closer to the sun. <laughs> that makes sense. There you go. One last big push to the summit. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, you ready for it? Sure I am. I've just spotted the first turtle. Where? Cha ching as a winner, winner. Where? He's down there. <laughs> Peg's not getting the concept that we're about 400 meters above them. That's why they look small. <laughs> There's one there, he's just dived down again. So that's our turtle experience. Yep. Might have to pay for it. <laughs> Well, Peg's, pay for an Peg's theory sort of worked. We walked away and they did appear. But I left my bag there, so I think they're still my bag. You reckon? Yeah. Big they ones down there. They're still there. Anyway. It we... is cool seeing them, but my expectation was you're going to see a big ass turtle, and I didn't. A turtle with a big ass, you reckon? <laughs> Maybe they've seen something with a big ass. The rock over there looks like a big ass. <laughs> well, I'm now more happier because that was more realistic. I saw big turtles, and um, we're down at the marina. So we decided to, on the way back to take a quick detour and we went to the marina and we, I saw a little path and I went, oh, stop, pull in there and we come out and they're and performing right on cue, for us. And right behind you, oh. there's a big turtle there. Yeah. It's there. And they're pretty decent,
So is this free? Yes, and you've heard me say it before, but this is now where we're moving. Your <laughs> food. <laughs> 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 it's cool though. Oh, and it's free, so then just. It's actually not bad. Not bad tent. You going in? I reckon we should because we're here. You reckon? Yeah. What do you reckon? No. I have saved us $15 today, I reckon. $5 per washing in our uh, little spinner, salad spinner. I've got some chores to do. So uh, come back from our day out and everything's dry so now just got to do some folding and putting away which means it is now wine time. So I'm cracking myself a wine while I do my chores.